Well, she is one of the best college basketball players in Minnesota, and she plays out of the spotlight at one of the smallest colleges in the state. David McCoy tells us a story of finding your place where you least expect it. The first thing to know about Amy Berglund is that it seems like she doesn't belong here. Berglund played for one of the top high school programs in the Washington, D.C. area. My coach is actually Bill Gibson. Um, he's the winningest coach in Virginia history. She was a four-year starter on a team that went to the state semifinals three of her four years and was barely recruited at all. You know, I had some looks, and I played a lot of AU ball. I, w I went to tournaments all over the East Coast and stuff. Um, never had an offer, um, and so that's why I kind of looked at Northwestern. Were you surprised that she was available to you? I mean, yes, I was. I was, and you know, she contacted us, and um, I kind of looked at it, and I looked through her resume, kind of, and I'm kind of like, well, sure, that would be great, but... Her skills on the court are evident. Berglund is the second leading scorer in the conference. She just passed the thousand point milestone barely into her junior year. All because of that massive chip on her shoulder, right? I would definitely say in the past that was a big thing for me, kind of. Um, I was like, why, why wasn't I good enough when I had a really good high school career? Um, but that's not why I play anymore um, because I think, you know, when you're playing angry, that's not. That's not how I want to play. I want to play with joy and play with freedom and play because I love the game. That's, that's why I play now. Which is what she gets here at Northwestern. Turns out this is exactly where she belongs. David McCoy, WCCO for Sports.